I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. There's a book that I want you to see today. It's called The Israel Omen. And chapter 1 opens with uh, a poem from the movie The Omen. When the Jews return to Zion and a comet rips the sky and the Holy Roman Empire rises, then you and I must die. The author of this book is with us today. Gary Stearman is here to introduce him. The author is with us. His name's David Brennan. Welcome to Prophecy in the News. Thank you, Gary. Let's, Good to be here. Let's start out again with the subtitle of this book. I, I love it. The Israel Omen and the subtitle, The Ancient Warning of Catastrophes Has Begun. Get that? That's an audacious statement. It is audacious. Let me tell you how it came about, that uh, subtitle. When I submitted the book to the individual who was going to do the cover, he said, what's your title? And I said, it's The Israel Omen. He said, okay, that's fine. What is your subtitle? Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know. I don't have a subtitle. So he said, you got to get one. So I went about mm -hmm. uh, to come up with a subtitle. And I began writing down different terms and asking people their opinion. But I just couldn't come up with anything. So finally, I ended up doing lastly what I should have done first and that is pray and I, I went to the Lord uh, late one afternoon and I prayed to him Lord I need a subtitle for this book I feel like you've guided me throughout this book and now I finally need the finishing touches on it mm -hmm. and I prayed fervently and uh, as I was lifting off of my knee before I was fully raised up those words came to me just as clearly as you and I are speaking right now. Wow. And I, the last two words ring in my ears, has begun. Has begun. A and you go through all of this book documenting Israel, uh, God's holy land, the promised land of, of prophecy. And, and you show how people have been trying to dismantle God's holy land during the modern era, ever since Israel became a state. That's right. And what we see now is that after more of the land was given to the Jews in 1967 after the June 6th war, we see that starting in 1991, especially the United States, has moved against the land to remove it, to divide it from the Jews. Mm -hmm. That particular effort was the Madrid Conference. That conference on the day that it met in 1991 was the first was the perfect storm came in on that particular day and slammed the coast of the Northeast. We've seen tragedy and catastrophe after catastrophe as a result that the timing of which is uncanny. Hurricane Andrew, for mm -hmm. example, the Madrid peace process made no progress whatsoever after the initial meeting when the perfect storm hit. But then when a new Israeli Prime Minister, Yitzhak Rabin, took the reins of office in mm -hmm. Israel, he was a land for peace Prime Minister. When he went to the next meeting of the Madrid group, the Madrid conference as it was called, on that very same day, Hurricane Andrew slammed the coast of the United States, at that time the worst storm in U.S. history. We also see that Hurricane Katrina was first identified on the same day that the official removal of the Jews from Gaza took place in August of 2005. We see that President Bush was getting ready on September 10th, 2001 to announce his support for a Palestinian state mm. on the land of Israel. Yeah, and th this is all amazingly done in your book. And again, uh, a lot of people have talked about some of the things in this book, but they've never put it together in such a way that it, it just hits you it, it, yeah. palpably. When you go through these pages, you will know <laughs> that there is a connection uh, between God's promised land and the leaders of the world. And J.R., what God is saying is, don't touch my promised land. That's right. God has given it to the Jews. And the world's trying to take it away from them. And disaster after disaster is being inflicted upon the world every time. Uh, let's go back, for example, to Pharaoh. Uh, Egypt suffered catastrophe after catastrophe after catastrophe simply because Pharaoh 
wouldn't let his people go, wouldn't let the Jewish people go. And every time Moses said, well, this is going to be another judgment from God. And what happened to, Mo, uh, to uh, Pharaoh? He hardened his heart. He refused to believe. Well, these people uh, today, Obama, uh, Tony Blair, the rest of the world, Russia, the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, all these guys are, refuse to believe that God gave that land to the Jews. And they're trying to give part of it to the Palestinians. I want you to know when we get over to Bible prophecy, we learn that when John goes to the Temple Mount to measure the temple, that he's told, don't measure south of the temple. Don't measure the court of the Gentiles. It's given to the Gentiles for three and a half years. They'll trample it underfoot. Trample Jerusalem underfoot. Hmm. So we know that these, uh, the quartet and these politicians are going to succeed in taking part of Israel's land away from them. But, oh, that's the reason for the tribulation period. The judgments of the tribulation period. The earthquake in, in the book of Revelation when all the mountains are flattened and, all, and the islands disappear. Yeah. That's God's judgment because the Antichrist tried to remove the Jews from their land. In fact, at the abomination of desolation, he drives them out of the country. Isn't that amazing? It is. And, and you know, now I believe for the first time we're able to connect the current international group called the Quartet as the Four Horns of Zechariah. And we're able to do that because in chapter 13 of the book, I connect the global financial collapse to the efforts, the second effort of the Quartet. And we've talked about that connection. <coughs> yes. The odds of that connection are based on statisticians. They call it a Sigma 6.2 event. It's one in every six eight hundred years wow. it's going to happen. That's almost like saying an earthquake is a ten on the, the earthquake scale. It, it really is and by, by identifying the quartet as the four horns spoken of by the prophet Zechariah that really focuses the lens of prophecy even better. Now we see yeah. that the quartet is to be watched very closely. Hmm. The quartet being the United States, Europe, Russia and the United Nations. Zechariah talks about four political entities that will seek to divide the land of Israel in the end time. And there's no other quartet that I see on the horizon doing that. No. And the world has certainly suffered disasters because of their machinations. The interesting thing is there are four carpenters coming to whittle down on these countries. In other words, by the time the tribulation period is over, the United States is going to face absolute disaster. Europe is going to face absolute disaster. Russia is going to face absolute disaster. The United Nations will be in disarray completely when Jesus shows up to save the day. Well, I want you to get this book, The Israel Omen, The Ancient Warning of Catastrophes, has begun. How close are we? Read the book. 221 pages, it's 1595 plus shipping and handling. Call the phone number at the bottom of your screen, 1 800 475 1111. Call today, will you? And order this book from us. I'm J.R. Church with Gary Stearman, our guest David Brennan. Thanks for watching today. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again Monday with our analysis of the news.